Hey, everybody, this is me. I'm back here for another blind reading. This is blind comment reading number two. If you put your name in the comments, as I suggested yesterday, just your name, this reading could be for you. So we're going to get started on number two. I've already posted the first one. So I hope that message finds the right person, or at the very least, I hope you're able to relate to it. So the card that I got for you, the animal card I got for you, number two, is the bison, which means abundance, okay? Only I know who this reading is for, but hopefully it will resonate with you. Sacred buffalo, cloak me in your wisdom. Keep me warm through the storms of life. Fill my life with goodness. Teach me the way of gratitude and prayer, okay? So that's you, abundant, okay? So I'm going to do like I did the first person. I'm going to pull a card out of my personal deck here for you. And I have here, I sit back and think of how much damage I caused you. I am so sorry. So if someone wants to apologize for the damage that they caused you in your life. Maybe they did something financially, maybe caused you some kind of financial hardship or whatever the situation was. Okay. All right. So we're going to move on with your reading number two. I'm going to ask the spirits to give me a message for you. Only I know who this person is for. This message is for. You may hear me whispering. That's because I'm speaking the person's name into the universe. Okay. Okay. So we have here intelligent, impartial, you're very, very respected, uh, but it's kind of hard for you to receive advice from people. Uh, you don't communicate your feelings with people. You're very, very uh, unemotional in relationships and you're somewhat emotional unavailable. Okay, so it's kind of hard for you to be in any kind of relationship because it's hard for you to trust. Somebody has really, really hurt you. You're in your feelings about that situation. It's like you know, the water under their bridge is is, is, is is just gone because, you know, this person hurt you. But we got the star here. This is you tapping into your energy, your, your earthly power, your earthly magic. Have faith that the future is bright. Your dreams will come true, but be positive, okay? These are changes in your life. It may be challenging right now for you in love and for you in finances, but it looks like your finances and your is getting ready to change. Maybe you have children. Maybe you have children. I know you have three children, maybe, maybe one, maybe no more than three children. I'll put it that way. Maybe one, if not three, maybe you're a single parent. Okay. And we got you standing by yourself, being in your own queendom. This is my house. You do what the hell I want to do and you get the fuck out. Okay. This is you being very, very abundant in your own right. And this is not just abundant financially, but also in spirit, also in emotions, being being mentally stable and mentally able to handle this situation on your own. Gracious, um, the ability to make anything more beautiful, a love of family and home, taking care of your home the best way of your ability, maybe a dress, a, a nice dresser, you know, dress to impress. We got lovers too for you. OK, this person from your past is, is saying, I sit back and think of how much damage I caused you. I'm so sorry, you know, but, you know, this is a situation for you to stop thinking about this person. They're they're uh, very, very regretful of what they've done to you in the past. And they may told you may have told you, I love you. I still care about you. I just hope, want you to forgive me. I know that there's no reason for you to ever, ever accept me back into your life. But I just want you to know that I love you and I care about you. OK, but embrace true love in deep, intimate friendships and relationships. Make choices from your heart. OK, make choices from your heart. Have having great health and recovering from an illness. Maybe you're sick, having to get over whatever it is that you're going through in your life. Maybe a cold or something. Or maybe your children are sick. And some people tend to be jealous of relationships or jealous of how you carry yourself. Got you moving on. Maybe you want to move out of state with your children here. We got the six of swords. Okay, moving on. It's like um, Mother Goose, you know, maybe you, maybe you tell the kids fairy tales. You know, a lot of people don't don't follow fairy tales anymore. You know, you don't hear too many people talking about old time fairy tales, but this is an old, the end of challenging times. Uh, things are looking up for you, a welcome relief when it comes to your finances. You're going to find a peaceful place. Maybe you need to move from one home to another, travel or relocation, maybe going somewhere else, okay? 
Maybe having to move somewhere else to feel comfortable, whether it's you or your child or children. You know, this may be a situation where this person from your past who wants to come back, they, they're sorry for the damage they caused you in the relationship, but they want to come back and work things out with you. OK, but you may be have turned you may have turned your back and you're looking more so for abundance when it comes to your finances and getting your children or your child to a better place. Or if you're single, just doing something different for you, you know, failing to recognize a magical opportunity. You're missing the point. Distractions in your daily life, discontentment or boredom lost in your own world. The universe wants you to wake up and not wake up to the opportunity to accept this person back unless there's something that you want to do. But wake up to the opportunity that. That there's something better or someone better out there, but there's also a better opportunity for you to thrive and grow living somewhere else. Okay. Something about the, the initials V and N. If those initials sound familiar to you, V and N, maybe a G. Initial S. Okay. C, Q. And we got happiness. You know, if you find a way out of the situation you're in, maybe travel somewhere else or move somewhere where else to a new location or think differently and think more clearly, this is where your happiness will be. When you when you get out of stuck, out of thinking about this person or wanting this person to come back or wondering how come you can't hold down a, a stable relationship in a stable environment, let that go and let the universe lead you and guide you into the land of milk and honey, into happiness, into love, okay? Family, together. Even if, if it means that, that your children will have, or your child will have a stepfather. So what? That person is going to come in and love you and love your child or children also, okay? A happy marriage, happily ever after, emotional contentment, a loving relationship with your children, raising children wisely and successfully with people you can trust with people you can trust, okay? I hope this message resonates with you, number two. I'll talk to you soon.